hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in in case you're new here welcome to ayuko d channel i'm coming at you right away from my beautiful village and on today's video we are going to cook the original african village food and that is none other than the amaranthas here in kenya you'll, you'll find most of people calling it terere and when you are in coastal part of coastal part of kenya it is called mchicha so that is what you are going to cook today so be sure to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed turn on the notification bell and most importantly guys kindly like this video that is the best favor you can do for me just like this video yeah so into it guys hope you are seeing them clearly this is called red amaranthas it has no chemicals because they grow on their own Guys, and this is our vegetables, very fresh from the farm. Now let's go and cook. We are going to wash our vegetables because we removed them direct from the farm. Our vegetables is now clean. It's time to chop them. By the way, my people, we have two types of amaranthas. We have red amaranthas and green amaranthas. This one is red amaranthal and there is that other type which is green amaranthal. Uh, personally, I prefer the green amaranthas because it is not necessary you, you boil them first in order to pour out the, the soup. You just cook direct and it tastes very delicious. But when it comes to red amaranthal, you have to boil fat because when you just cook direct, it has some funny taste. And if you like, you can also mix them with sukuma wiki, with cow peas, and uh, the outcome is really the best. Yeah. Thank you. 
So we we'll give it 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, it will be ready. don't have tomato paste you can use carrot to thicken your soup yeah that is the main reason why i'm using the carrots in our in our meal today i don't have tomato sauce and i don't have tomato paste and i want my soup to be thick so what do i do i use the carrots it's now ready our vegetables We will go ahead and uh, fry it. I will use the same the same sufuria that I used for boiling it, so never mind this, this. Onion has to turn golden brown, that's when we know it is ready. Guys, you see, this red water is what I was trying to avoid. If you cook direct without boiling, it's really, it tastes funny. It tastes funny. Now time to add the ho ho. I'm now adding carrot. We are now adding ginger, but
our food is ready. Let's enjoy the meal together. It's very, very yummy. My YouTube family, and that marks the end of our video today. Let me know where you're watching from and what you think about today's video. Don't forget to like the video, hit that subscription button, and turn on the notification bell. Till we meet in the next. Bye-bye. I love you all.